Hello students, today we will discuss about xenodiodes. So xenodiodes are those diodes which are heavily dubbed silicon or germanium ion junction diodes and usually they are used in a reverse biased mode. So they will be operating in the breakdown region in the reverse characteristics where the current is limited by both external resistance and the power dissipation of the di diode. So depending upon the value of um, um, series resistance that is connected, you may have, you, you can actually control the amount of current passing through a Zener diode. And what do you mean by breakdown region? It is a region, hope you remember, in the reverse characteristics that initially as the voltage is given negative voltage a steady current is the a very feeble one which is called the reverse saturation current and after that it begin to sudden suddenly it begin to increase and that if you extrapolate then you will get it as the breakdown voltage okay so this region is called the breakdown region where the current in the breakdown region can be uh, controlled by either connecting a series resistance or a power dissipation of the diode itself okay so if uh, you think of a reverse bias case we have uh, studied that two kind of breakdowns are possible one is called Zener breakdown and Zener breakdown happens uh, for that case where the applied voltage in the reverse biasing is less than 6 volt. If it is greater than 6 volt then avalanche breakdown will be more predominant and then in such cases the diode is called avalanche diode and while in the other case it is called Zener diode. But mostly you know, we, we use the Zener diode for the a diode which is connected in the operated in the reverse biased case uh, in irrespective of what breakdown is predominant. So avalanche diode as well as the Zener diode can be called as a Zener diode itself. So what happens when um, the Zener is in Zener breakdown? What will happen? Yeah, so you know the diode will be connected to what in reverse biasing it will be connected the uh, p region will be connected to the negative of the battery and n region will be connected to the positive of the opposite polarity will be connected together so what will happen you know there is a depletion layer inside so uh, what will happen the p region has holes so the holes will be attracted to towards opposite polarity similarly n region has electrons which are negatively charged and they will be attracted towards the positive terminal so always the charge carriers are moving away from the junction so uh, depletion region will widen so due to the reverse voltage there is always a widening of depletion region so which will constitute a strong barrier that is ele strong electric field and which is strong enough to break the covalent bonds nearby okay so as they breaks the covalent bonds there will be number of electrons and holes which are created and this will constitute a current which is called zener current okay so where the current is actually limited only by the series uh, resistance which is connected or due to the nature of the diode itself power dissipated by the diode itself it is actually independent of water be the applied voltage and zener is represented in the uh, form of uh, pn junction diode itself only thing is that uh, uh, the cathode region is slightly in a inverted uh, zener the inverted z z in the shape in the I reckon cathode will be represented and this is how the physically you can observe this as a very orange orange colored uh, glassy diode where uh, at one side it is black in color so the black ring 
will constitute the cathode region and while the other is the positive region okay so you'll be using it in your, in your practical classes so as we mentioned it has a breakdown region and the center will be working in between a particular current which is called minimum current and the maximum current is given by I use it maximum okay so the forward characteristics would be the same as that of a, a ordinary p-n junction diode while in the case of reverse characteristics certain features has to be mentioned one is it will be undergoing Zener breakdown and which is denoted as V is it the world the, there is a very steep sharp current increase in current and the minimum current to sustain breakdown okay as soon as the breakdown start in a, how much is the current okay a breakdown begin chain the samayathinyana or current inyana we call this minimum current which can sustain the breakdown okay maximum zener current is limited by the power dissipation that is beyond this the diode will be damaged okay so the maximum power dissipation by the uh, diode which would be withstood okay that will limit the maximum value of zener current it also has a uh, impedance which is uh, calculated as the change in uh, voltage with respect to the breakdown voltage divided by the change in um, current I Z of the diode and usually this factor is very very small and we can neglect it actually so we represent Zener as constituting of impedance <coughs> seriously connected with the voltage V Z which is the breakdown voltage of the Zener diode so neglecting the impedance we can represent the equivalent circuit as uh, given by the breakdown voltage so what are be the change in current there is very little change in breakdown voltage it will be always uh, the voltage will be very steady that is why equivalent circuit of uh, Zener when it is used in Zen uh, breakdown region is represented as uh, a battery which means uh, a constant voltage of V is it is given by the Zener so other features of the Zener diode may uh, include how it uh, how a proper working of a diode is zener diode is ensured so for that we must keep it in reverse biased mode as well as the voltage given to the diode must be greater than the breakdown voltage then only you will be able to work it in the uh, breakdown region and it will be in a circuit where the current will be less than i z maximum so we will be working we uh, we must be uh, limiting our operation in between the iz minimum and iz maximum so the prime application of zener diode is voltage regulation because we can get a steady voltage uh, at, at uh, uh, breakdown vz in spite of water be the current okay for huge change in current we are getting a constant voltage so this principle is used for applying it in voltage regulation that is the stabilizers and all so we see in detail how it works as a uh, voltage regulator for that uh, we can see the diagram is shown here the circuit diagram we are giving a input supply um, and the diode Zener diode is connected in series with the uh, resistance and the load resistance for example your TV or fridge or something like that will be connected parallel to the Zener diode okay so we can see the incoming um, that is the inputted voltage will be uh, like a current into the circuit and as it passes through the resistance a uh, voltage drop will be obtained as IR and as the current reaches this particular junction uh, it will split up as two current one is iz and other is il okay and by kirchhoff's law we can see that i will be split up as iz 
and IL. Okay. Okay, so if you consider this particular closed circuit alone, you can see there are this voltage involved, another voltage IR and another voltage drop across the diode. So we can write here also the V in uh, input voltage will be equal to IR which is the drop across the series resistance plus uh, the Zener breakdown voltage and you can also see that since the large resistance is connected parallel with the VZ or parallel with the diode uh, for a parallel connection whatever be the uh, voltage drop across one branch it will be the same for the second branch also that is why parallel connection is happening so the voltage across diode as well as the voltage across the load resistance you have to mark it as rl so the load resistance will be the same so instead of v is it i can represent it as um, vo or output voltage itself okay so we, we can see that there is a constant relationship between input voltage output voltage and the uh, drop voltage drop across the series resistance so that is mentioned here so voltage regulation means it is the ability of the circuit to maintain a constant output voltage even when the input voltage changes input voltage change in alum or the load current varies load will go deep on the current in the vernal il even if il changes or um, the vol input voltage changes uh, whatever be the output that is given to the load resistant must be constant and uh, namakari am electronic circuits alum constant uh, electronic devices alum constant title supply kit it will be um, damaged so in order to ensure a stable supply of not to ensure as they say stable supply of voltage which is the v output to the load resistant what what is done we connect a zener diode in parallel with the uh, load resistance so that in spite of a different load current passing through the uh, resistance or in spite of the input supply variation in the in, uh, in input supply the output will always remain constant and that is what you meant by a voltage regulation so uh, in the working of zener zener uh, working in the uh, breakdown region is usually used as a uh, voltage regulator so for that a zener diode will be connected in such a way that this is the cathode region isn't it n region and this is the p region so it will be connected in the reverse mode to the supply so reverse mode means positive will be connected to n region and negative terminal will be connected to the p region then it will be in a reverse connection or reverse bias mode so when potential difference across uh, the diode if this is greater the supply is greater than the um, diode uh, breakdown then it will be performing as a voltage regulator so then it will draw current any amount of current because we have seen at a constant voltage in the matram current change when angulum possible item the current was changing a lot okay so it can draw less current or more current at the same voltage same voltage in the uh, lower itala current when you draw chia and uh, maximum current where uh, a zener diode could pass in the bidamba okay that is a speciality so the load resistance who uh, for which the constant output constant supply must is required is connected in series with the zener diode so that we, we know that if a circuit if, if a branch is connected or if an equipment is or a resistance is connected parallel with another one the out uh, the voltage in the one branch will be same as the voltage in the the other branch because they are parallel that is a con concept of parallel connection okay so from that we can write it as v out for all the condition 
output voltage will be equal to Zener voltage okay and we have one more relation we have discussed that is V input will be divided as among IR plus Vz considering this closed loop V input is equal to IR plus uh, voltage drop across diode okay and that is same as if you consider this circuit also you will get it as V in is equal to closed circuit V in will be equal to IR plus V out and we know V out and Vz are the same so you can replace in either way and another thing you can notice if we have discussed is that the uh, uh, the, the initial current I is getting splitted up into Zener current and Lord current by Kirchhoff's law okay so these are the points you need to remember before discussing the voltage regulation so two cases are possible either in the first case we will consider only the supply voltages vary so a varying supply voltage so that r is kept constant and we will find out what will happen to the current the other one is v is changing so we can see that the voltage drop across ir can be kept constant okay so uh, let me take the first case so in the first case v in is considered to be a changing one it is increased slightly while resistance is kept constant so as voltage increases what will happen the current will because r is constant current will automatically increase because v by i or v by r is the current so as voltage increases i also will increase so here you can see that now uh, since it i increases i increase same break you if it is split the pona i is it name i l name value either when angling could are a possibility and and what is the speciality of zena diode zena diode can draw any much of current so as i is increased i said the drawing of the current drawn by the Zener will increase so what will happen that will so the amount of current going in the uh, load resistance will be less okay so IEL will be less that means the load current will be less or correspondingly we can see output voltage will be kept constant even if so whatever be the initial initial uh, current IL will be always kept constant and the maximum or the difference of I and I is that IL will be flowing through the more current will be flowing through the Zener diode so IL is kept constant uh, and hence we can ensure the constant current or constant output voltage across the uh, load resistance so that is one way of doing so you can think in the you know, reverse way order also that is let us consider now the v supply voltage is decreasing so if the supply voltage decrease current will also in decrease the current degree same like i l has to be kept constant apadini venditta um zener draw cheyna current um koravayirikkum so that i l is kept again a constant okay Apo, i is equal to i z uh, plus i l okay because we need to remember the equation i is equal to i z plus i l isn't it so if i l is constant if i increases i z also has to increase uh, if i decreases then i z also has to decrease so that i l will be always kept constant so that we can ensure a constant output across the load resistance r clear so let us come uh, to the second point so in the first point what we have done is we have uh, changed the input supply and kept the i l constant now what we do is that we will keep the i fixed this is fixed 
and only thing that is changed is the uh, current the current passing through the or il is changed now the reverse happens earlier it was a constant now il changes okay so as il changes where either uh, ensure the line and i'm okay with a constant voltage to get down with the current current to pass it upon the court change it on the channel so now because the current in a different day that you're a constant are coming less so then we'll depend upon the voltage for voltage in a quantity again again we have mentioned the closed circuit v in is given by what v in is given by what is it here it is shown here input current into resistance if it is a drop plus v out okay so if v in is fixed either fixed on angle okay uh, we can change ir and keep the v out constant okay but i'm going to change on the way we are going to keep v out constant here so how do you make it v out constant because we have already v in a fixed quantity only way to keep it constant is by keeping the ir constant ir constant we can keep the v out constant so how do we do that let us see let us consider because il is changing let us consider il increase il code what will happen to the current equation as il increases we need to make i constant karanam ir has to be constant so i has to be constant any constant akum i il kodumbo lot current kodumbo zena current adan sirichu koreyanam so that i can be constant okay so as i in as uh, il increases reverse i turn i is it has to decrease so that i is kept constant or ir is constant ir constant on angle it will ensure that v out is constant is that clear we will be able to constant tanky we can other input supply on a for input supply constant akum rigim output and goody constant to get them on a number regulation day main a a part of constant to get an item where a the on a closed circuit lower voltage or leather it is the drop across the series resistance are a part in a drop a constant down on an angle current has to be constant current in a constant akum i l already change it on the piano so i is at inverse i to change it in l we can keep the current constant using this equation okay so that is clear hope hope i uh, i hope it is clear so the next case is i l can decrease i l degree same up in the chain um i constant aki we can it in the chain um i z has to increase more current has to be drawn by the zena up a more current to draw chain break him in the sample with him i constant i dynamic him i constant on angle voltage drop across a series resistance which is i r will be constant i r and constant on a v in and constant on angle um v out and i ricum v out will also remain constant so there is no change so in even if the lot resist lot current changes all input supply changes uh, water water it be the output voltage across the lot is kept constant so these are the two cases you have to remember one is we'll be keeping v in constant upon our own change in the lot resistance a change am adin answer chitta um zener draw j in the current with the asam item so that will keep the current constant that is case two i constant or i r constant and correspondingly we have it will be constant case one in and there no v in was changing v in change jm upon constant 
constant ആയിട്ട് നിൽക്കുന്നത് current lot current constant ആണ് അപ്പോൾ ലോട്ട് കറണ്ടിനെ കോൺസ്റ്റൻ്റ് ആക്കി വയ്ക്കാനായിട്ട് എഗെയിൻ ജനറ ഡ്രോ ചെയ്യുന്ന കറണ്ട് വ്യത്യാസമായിരിക്കും ഇഫ് ഐ ഇൻക്രീസസ് ഐ ഇസ് എറ്റ് ഓൾസോ ഇൻക്രീസസ് ഇഫ് ഐ ഡിഗ്രീസസ് ഐ ഇസ് എറ്റ് ഓൾസോ ഡിഗ്രീസസ് സോ ദാറ്റ് ദ കറണ്ട് പാസിങ് ടു ദ ലോട്ട് റെസിസ്റ്റൻസ് ആർ എൽ വിൽ ബി ഓൾവേസ് എ കോൺസ്റ്റൻറ്റ് ഓക്കെ സോ ബേസ്ഡ് ഓൺ ദിസ് വി ക്യാൻ റൈറ്റ് ഔട്ട് സം ഇക്വേഷൻ ഓൺ ദിസ് so one is v out we have already mentioned v out if you consider this closed circuit what is uh, v out v out is given by v in here we have this equation v in is given by i r plus v out okay so from this we can find out what is v out v out is v in minus i r or we know what is i i is sum of lot current and zener current so substituting here and rearranging you'll get the series resistance to be connected r r is given by input supply minus output voltage expected divided by lot current plus zener current okay so this way we can uh, check how much series resistance has to be connected in series with the zener diode so that we get a uh, we can ensure a constant voltage across the lot okay so let us do one problem so we have given a 9.1 volt zener is connected across a lot resistance of 1 kilo ohm with a series resistance of 4680 ohms to a supply voltage uh for 20 volt calculate uh output voltage voltage drop across resistor lot current and zener current so let us consider a circuit again so here it is mentioned at 9.1 volt zener what does that mean it is vz vz is given by 9.1 volt is connected across a lot of 1 kilo ohm so r is given as 1 kilo ohm kilo ohm means 1 into 10 raised to 3 or 1000 ohms with a series resistance okay i have a correction series resistance is given as 680 okay load aanu paranjathu 1 kilo so this is 1 kilo ohm so okay now it is connected to a supply voltage of 20 volt that is also given now what is uh, we are asked to find out what is output voltage what would be output what would be output yeah we know output is given by same as the voltage across zener what is the voltage across zener it is given 9.1 so the first answer is obtained it is just equal to 9.1 volt okay sorry for that uh we'll write it as 9.1 volt okay that was the first one now for the second question voltage drop across resistor voltage drop across resistor second one is given by what is voltage drop across resistor it is given by ir isn't it and how do you get ir if you know v out and input voltage ir can be easily calculated what is it Uh, just form the circuit closed circuit using this so it is v input minus v z or minus v out so you can just have to substitute here v input is 20 and v z is 9.1 so what you get 10.1 10.9 volt isn't it so you will get it as 10.9 volt now let us consider the third question third question is load current load il kude ella current that is il okay so how do you get il il how do you get it um, we know what is the resistance and what is output so you just have to take v out divided by the load resistance what is v out v out is already measured already determined that is 
9.1 divided by RL is given 1 kilo. So 1 into 10 raised to 3. So what is that? It is just you have to take this as milli. So it is 9.1 milli ampere. Okay, very easy. And the last one is Zener current. So Zener current is IZ. And how do you obtain IZ? We have already evaluated IL. Isn't it? So IZ is given by how much? IZ is given by I minus IL. And do you know what is I? Do you know what is I? Yeah, we know it because i is given by um, from here itself you have i r is given by 10.1 so what will be i 10.9 divided by resistance what is that resistance 680 okay minus i l i l we have already measured we have already determined 9.1 milli okay so what would be that it would be around 6.9 milliampere you can do yourself and check your answer okay so that ends the uh, topic on zana diode and uh, you know, for the next class we will discuss about transistors and common emitter configuration okay thank you